she comes to your mom, I inherited the legs up, back. legs up back. <laughs> and I want to, and maybe she even wants to do it at a younger age. What would your, how would you navigate that? Listen, it's the message right here. Black boy, tell me how you really feel. Cause I just want to build with you. Black girl, tell me how you really feel. I want to keep it real with you. I want to live better, eat better. I want to love better, sleep better. Yeah, I want to feel so... Before I got it done, when I was talking to people, like my mom was pissed at me. She didn't. Pissed. She was so mad at me. And she was even more mad at me because I didn't tell her I was going to do it. I told her the day before. <laughs> The day before my surgery. Just and in I case something her, happened. And I texted to her. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, she went off on me. <laughs> but, like, I think people thought it was going to be worse than what it was because people have so many misconceptions about what can happen. Like, thinking that you're going to die or thinking that you're going to end up disfigured um, or botched. But I think when people saw the results, they were like, oh. <laughs> they was like. Like, what? I get it? Yeah, like, I get it. And then I put my before and afters, and they're like, oh, okay. Now, then they really get it. And then they see that, because I know a lot of people seem to think that there's cement or that they don't move or that they, they see that that's not true either. And they're like, oh, now I really get it. So, <laughs> um, since it's a natural look, if, if I don't tell people I have a BBO, they wouldn't even know. Typically. Um, so, but yeah, I listen. I just do so much better with men now. Listen. Well, explain, break that down. Well, to me. I don't know if it's necessarily better. <laughs> listen, <laughs> like, let's say I get more men now. Like, it, well, yeah, like, you're trapped. Yeah, yeah, I'm trapped more men now. Um, Cause it's like you dark skin with locks and a fat ass. Like you, <laughs> you the top, top of the top, you the cream of the crop. So like, oh man, I never had experience like going out to, to downtown Savannah and getting in clubs and just standing by the bar and people want to buy drinks for you. Like guys just, buying drinks for you um I hadn't experienced that ever before like I could literally just go and if I just stand there for a minute and be cute do a little dance you know a little something and somebody gonna come up damn somebody gonna come up <laughs> maybe even one or two guys um that's a slow night two guys a slow hey, night hey that's a slow night <laughs> like and just the type of guys that I used to wonder like hmm, I wonder why they're not into me like that these are guys that I'm not even particularly attracted to like the menace here causing the fukis and ray rates <laughs> um you know them drug dealers gold chain all them you know them type of dudes like they don't be bad <laughs> and I don't know if that's a good thing but they don't be bad <laughs> and there's when I say that um my confidence has changed it feels like I have the ability to, like, I, I, I don't say I'll walk up to any guy, but I, I feel like I could be more confident in going up to guys now more than I was prior. Um, and, yeah. So I, I don't have a very big social media presence, but I am on, like, all the major apps except for Twitter. Um, and I don't post very often, but... When I do, it's just like they, they flop, like they're, you know, and I know why, but <laughs> it's like I had never experienced that. So it's power. Hey, it feels like power. power. It really is. And so it's, <laughs> it's, it's the type of power that corrupts people. It's intoxicating, <laughs> of course. <laughs> what are the cons? So the cons are now I don't, like back then when I have no butt, when I was legs up back. <laughs> Nine times out of 10 or eight times out of 10, if a guy approached me, he probably was really trying to get to know me. <laughs> like, he probably, <laughs> he probably, he probably, 
<laughs> he probably really was digging me. Like he probably really he was thought I was feeling. pretty. Yeah. But now, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I don't. I don't know what you want. And that hinders me a bit because now it makes me less, um, less likely to respond to guys. Um, I don't even open some DMs now, um, or because now I just get so many. It's like I'm not finna go through all this, and you know. So it's kind of isolated me a little bit, um, you know, in a sense, and kind of made me a little bit of a trophy too, because you gotta think. Um, even though BBLs appear to be prop popular, and they may be in some cities, like bigger cities, Miami, Atlanta, probably every other ass you see is fake. But in like smaller cities, they're not that big. They're not that, you know. And a lot of people see um, like the main it girls, the main it rappers, Lotto, um, you know, in, insert any of the other ones that have these fake bodies. And it's like, the guys want to know what that's like if they were to get one of those types of girls. And you're the next best thing. So that's why it kind of makes you a trophy in a sense. Like he, he want to know how that, how it moves. Like, or to be able to say, oh yeah, like I, I, I know what it's like if, if I experienced a fake ass before, you know, so. How would you feel about a man who's got his body done? I can't judge. Wait, y'all, wait, what can y'all do? <laughs> uh, chest implants, ab implants. Oh, yeah, I can't judge. I got my body done. Who am I to say that you couldn't have yours done? And if it. If hair it looked, hair like, pieces. Yeah. Toupees and stuff. As long as you ain't botched. I can't judge. That wouldn't be fair. Going back to your hypothetical future daughter. Would uh -oh. you <laughs> would you be enthusiastic about her getting her butt? She comes to your mom, I inherited the legs up, back. legs up back. <laughs> and I want to, and maybe she even wants to do it at a younger age. What would your how would you navigate that? Hmm. I wouldn't be enthusiastic about it. Why? Like I wouldn't be like Yay, daughter, go out and do that. Because I wouldn't want her to think that that's what is what she would have to do. Well, first, I want to understand the reason why she wants to do it. Um, and I just want to make sure that it's not nothing that she feels like she has to do for any ridiculous reason. Um, but I already I knew this was going to come up one day because, listen, I'm not going to. I'm not, mm. my child probably is going to inherit leg, legs up back. And all I can tell them is. You should start dating big booty guys. <laughs> Give her a fight check. <laughs> they running backs, full backs. Because you might get it from your grandma on, your, on the other side. Because if you get it from a pivot vehicle, get it from me. But I already have a game plan, right? So I'm probably going to do, I, I, I think that if maybe I was involved in athletics, maybe at a younger age, and I had never gotten the ability to get as big as I was, that my body wouldn't have been as contorted as it was. Like I wasn't, I was way bigger than I was supposed to be. And that was causing a lot of issues for me. So maybe if I can help her, like from a young age to, to be right. Posture. In her, yeah, leg strength, in, yeah. In her adulthood, maybe that won't even be a thought in her mind. Um, but if it still is, I just, it's nothing I could tell her because it's, I've done it myself. So how could I turn around to you and be like, no, you can't do that. Um, all I could do is pass down the research that I've done for her, talk with her, help her try to evaluate, make sure that it's not like, you're not trying to get it because a guy told you you need to get it, you know, or to try to keep a boy's interest in you. Um, make sure it's what she really wants to do for her. And that, you know, it's was really going to fulfill her. And I can just try my best to just help her do it the safest way as possible. But I probably would try to talk her out of it a little bit. <laughs> and um, Why? Talk, talk more about that. Why would you want to talk her out of it? Like, why? Because you said that was your reflex. Because like, like I was saying, like, even, even if you're 100% healthy, something could still go wrong. And 
Like I've only had this booty for six months. I don't even know if something could go wrong for me, you know, 10 years down the line or however. So I just, I wouldn't want to pass that down to her. But honestly, my best line of defense would just to make sure that I can always keep her right from from as early on as possible so that she never develops the insecurities that I developed. Or maybe like make sure I can get her counseling so that she can deal with um, certain things that I had to just deal with on my own and just talk myself out of, you know, or just work through on my own. So, but I couldn't tell her no. Especially if she's an adult, you know, she 18 or younger, still in my house, that might be able to have a little bit of authority over her. But when she's an adult, I got to let her do what she going to do. And if that's what, if she is 100% sold on it like I was, I know I'm not going to be able to talk her out of it. So I could just help her do it the best, safest way possible. But we're going to try to get her in some sports or something. So she, she'll she never experience being overweight. She'll never experience what it's like to, to not feel like yourself. 